Good afternoon, Howard Wig, Code Green, Think Tech Hawaii. This is not an April Fool program because the person sitting by me is L. Whitworth, a partner in Island Cooling, and he is a, an installer for a technology called Whole House Fan. Whole House Fans can keep your house cool especially given Hawaii's very benign climate, for a fraction, fraction of the amount of energy that an air conditioner requires. So thank you so much for thank being you. with me. Thank now, you, Howard, for having yeah. me on the show. And as I was explaining, air conditioning is a real, real energy consumer. And here we are in Hawaii, first state to say we will have 100% mean energy by the year 2045. Incidentally, California followed us. Usually California leads everybody, but they followed us. And hot off the press, New Mexico has set the same goal just last day or two. So we can be proud of ourselves for being a leader. And the way we're going to accomplish this is with advanced technology such as yours, Al. So why don't we bring up the first slide. And Al, if you could explain to, well, introduce your, your company a little bit first. So we are Island Cooling. We're a family-run business. My brother and I started this business about uh, 10 plus years ago. And we focus just on one thing, and that is the energy efficient cooling of our local homes. So uh, we don't do any of the other products, uh, solar or air conditioning, but this has allowed us to work with the solar companies, the electrical companies, the builders on solutions for having a efficient, ventilated, and cooler home. And what were those funny big things that each one of you was holding? Sure. So those are the quiet, cool whole house fans without the duct. And what uh, whole house fans have been around for a long time. There's actually three different motor technologies there. On the left, the one I'm holding um, is, the is a brushless EC motor, which is a very, very energy efficient motor. It's got a couple cool features to it. One, that instead of starting off with a jump, it slowly spins up to reach maximum speed. So that's... The, the electric utility loves that. Yes. yes. And then the second thing that we really love about it is that they're sealed. And because that motor is sealed, less of a chance of salt or dust or anything getting inside, so they last a lot longer. And when you combine that energy efficiency plus uh, more durability, it's a great technology for our local homes. You know, I, a couple, a few years ago, I toured a home, and it was built, or the owner built it as a, the energy efficient oh. home and so forth so forth and we got to his whole house fan uh -huh. and there was a big puka in the attic and it was just a permanent puka yes and up there was the fan and it was roaring away mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and i complimented him of course but yes heck with this i would never live mm. in such an environment so one of my eternal themes is technology keeps improving, 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 improving. Yes. So what you just described is major, major improvement. Yes. So oh. about 15 years ago, um, the team that we work with, Dana, he was thinking there's got to be a better way to make an energy efficient whole house fan. So he took that giant fan, moved it to the end of an air conditioning duct, an insulated acoustic duct. And by moving it away from the opening, mm -hmm. it also allowed it to be easier to install. It's hung strapped, so there's no framing needed. And it is, of course, much more efficient, quieter because of the distance and more. It's, uh, it's just a lot better overall. There's been huge progress. Now we have Wi-Fi controls. We have RF mm -hmm. controls, so you don't have to run a wire down your, down your wall anymore. It's made it a lot easier. And while we're on that subject, could we go back to the first slide again? Because what we're seeing there is the blades in the fan. And something that I learned not long ago was the fact that there are different pitches yes. on different fan blades. And I was in a uh, Title Eight 
apartment some years ago, and there was a fan spinning around. And because this is state funded, everything is everything purchased is based on lowest first cost. <laughs> And that fan was going around, mm -hmm. and it was a hot summer evening, and I swear it wasn't doing a gosh mm. darn thing. And I looked at the blades, and the blades were just flat. flat. So it was like a ceiling fan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So shouldn't the blades be pitched in such a way, in your case, you want to suck the air Correct. out of yes. the house and get it up into yeah, the so attic? That, yeah, that's a great point right there. Mm -hmm. A lot of folks will ask me, how is this quiet cool system going to impact my ceiling fans? And the answer is it makes them work better. Mm -hmm. The reason why is a ceiling fan is great at mixing the air around. And if you're sitting directly underneath it, it's blowing air on you, which mm -hmm. is great. That's how we feel temperature difference, right? But it's not bringing any fresh air in. So here's an experiment you can try at home. You know how when you pull up to your house and you mm -hmm. first park, sometimes you got a phone call, you find, you've parked, so you've taken a phone call, you turn off your engine, and mm -hmm. within about 10 seconds, you feel hot and stuffy. Mm -hmm. And the temperature in that car hasn't gone up so much, but what's happened is all of that humidity from your body, there's nowhere for it to go, so you kind of end up cracking the door to get some of the heat mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. That's what the quiet cool system does. So it's bringing in fresh air into the home and then simultaneously pushing the hot air out of the attic, which works great with the ceiling fan because then it's moving around cooler, cooler air. And somehow that brings up one of the laws of physics, heat rises. Heat rises. You're bringing air from down close mm -hmm. to the ground, I guess, or yes. wherever the windows are, actually. And the air is accumulating up towards the ceiling or in the attic, but you're causing that to move around and, and get the heck exactly. out of it. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. a lot of folks, they come into their home at the end of the day and they say, I wish I could just have a way I could suck this hot air out of my house. Mm -hmm. And if you've ever thought that, that's exactly what a whole house fan and the quiet mm -hmm. cool system mm -hmm. is designed to do. It, it sucks all that heat out because it's up on the ceiling, drawing the hottest air out of the house, mm -hmm. simultaneously bringing fresh air from the windows to replace it so it can create a cross breeze in your home, yeah. low, giving you a little bit of a wind chill factor. And then finally blowing the hot air out of the attic, so lowering that temperature. So overall, mm -hmm. The attic temperature can drop by 40 degrees, the indoor temperature typically 10 degrees or more, and then uh, it, it reduces it down to the ambient air temperature. Yeah. yeah, which in Hawaii is a pretty gosh darn good temperature. Why don't we go to the uh, next slide? Yeah, so this is, we are distributors for Quiet Cool brand. They're the leaders in whole house fans. And um, we've been working now for over 10 years. So that's about 4,500 4, of these systems distributed statewide. Mm. Um, we work with builders. What makes us really unique is that we've always searching for solutions for our local homes. Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. works best in a certain area, um, we have to maybe tweak it a little bit. A lot of our homes, as you know, have no insulation in them. Mm -hmm. So that means maybe requiring using smaller systems to move airflow through the house instead of one giant system, which was how they used to have to do it in the past. Now mm -hmm. we have smaller units that can be installed in like a bedroom or a home office area. Yeah, beautiful. And let, let's look at the uh, next slide. So, oh, now that's a nice <laughs> slide. <Yeah. laughs> yes. And that's one of the most popular things. So energy efficiency, of course, is very important. And we're, we're, very, we're very proud of the fact that Quiet Cool fans are very energy efficient. But what makes it truly unique is that it fits our lifestyle. So this is something that folks can use with open windows. Mm -hmm. When you turn on an air conditioner, the first thing you've got to do is close all your windows. And then you know a lot of us, we're relaxing, so we don't want to get up and open our windows up again so that AC mm -hmm. stays on all the time. Mm -hmm. Whereas there's a lot of days, today for example, you just open the windows, get some fresh air in, suck the hot air out, and really uh, most folks find that this can take the place of an AC, for some folks, all completely. Yeah, yeah. Especially if they're on a budget. Absolutely. Yeah. These are very, very energy efficient to use. Less than 10% of the energy of many ACs. And uh, that brings up a little side fact. The second most common reason why people, homeowners, go into bankruptcy Ooh. is a high utility bill. Ouch. Yeah. Yes, yes. 
And we've had folks tell us that these quiet cool systems work great for them because everything from right sizing their solar panels, mm -hmm. <laughs> not needing as more than they could, their roof can support, for example, mm -hmm. and um, also having fresh air, which just leads to a healthier overall home, more comfort, having the ability to have that indoor outdoor lifestyle, go in and outside of the house without having to have the home closed mm -hmm. up all the time. And we in Hawaii are blessed, not only with some of the world's best water, but some of the world's best absolutely, air. Absolutely, absolutely. Because we have the, the trade winds coming through and we don't have a heavy industry or anything like yes. that. So yes. In most homes, just having that good fresh air coming through is a much healthier uh, lifestyle. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And we have homeowners who tell us that in Eva Beach and um, other places where it's hot all the time, they mm -hmm. say they use this, and they're really surprised how much more comfortable it makes the home. Yeah. Now yeah. there are a few days in the year we want you know people to know this doesn't refrigerate the air. That's what mm -hmm. air conditioning does. Mm -hmm. And so there are a few days in the year when it's a really hot Kona day where you may not feel the perfect relief with this, mm -hmm. and that's where you'd maybe switch on an AC if you have one. Other people tell us, hey, I just wait it out and I'm great yeah. again. Yeah, because you're you got at least you're down to ambient temperature Absolutely. and you're perceived coolness is below ambient because you have that air movement. Absolutely. And keep in mind that our bodies are 98.6. You just let that radiant heat come out and sit there. That's mm -hmm. not so nice. Yeah. yeah. Let's go to the next slide. So, as I mentioned, whole house fans have been around for a long time. And um, everyone from the U.S. Department of Energy to uh, Hawaii Energy, another one of our partners, uh, they have all been helping us raise awareness of the whole house fan this past month um, with the utility little bill inserts that went out. Mm -hmm. Folks were introduced again to the idea of putting in a whole house fan to cool their homes. Oh, and I should mention, I'm, I'm the energy codes guy for the state, that Hawaii has a unique amendment that says new homes shall be equipped with either ceiling yes. fans or whole house fans. Perfect. Mentioned that. Unfortunately, a couple of the neighbor islands have crossed out <laughs> shell and put in may, ah. but Honolulu is going to stick with the shell. Okay. And the next code iteration, I'm going to lobby right back again. Now mm. that you're used to this code, cross out that may and put shell. Mm. Shell have either ceiling fans or whole house fans. Let's go to the next slide on that cherry note. So this uh, is here, the modern. Here's how it works. Yeah. yeah, this is the modern quiet cool fan. So you can see there that that motor has been moved away from the opening um, by strapping and hanging it like that. Of course, that dampens all the vibrations and really limits the amount of sound. A really key important point is right there above the ceiling. What's called a damper box, and that's that, important. That's that little black exactly rectangle, and that's uh, those are two little doors that suck open when the quiet cool system is on, and then they shut when the system is off, and that prevents any hot air from coming back down from the mm -hmm. attic or any little mm -hmm. creatures or anything like that. If you run AC, this is important because it's not going to suck out your cold air. Yeah. Sometimes we see people run a direct vent into their home from the roof, and they'll just vent straight into their house, and then later they'll say, "Oh no." I can't turn it off. I can't control it. All of our systems are controllable. And the motor is that black thing at the end. Yes. There. Yep. Yeah. And, and you as can you say, it, it's suspended so that mm -hmm. there's no, no vibration. Yeah. And it's venting out through the attic vents. Mm -hmm. And that is, of course, there's two limiting factors. What makes our job fun is we have to make sure that each home has enough attic space to install mm -hmm. it and enough attic ventilation. And the only way to really tell that is to physically get up there yeah. in the attic. And my brother and I, we spend a lot of time looking at folks' attics, making mm -hmm. sure they have enough mm -hmm. space to uh, install equipment. Yeah, and, and as, as you pointed out, homes are different and different and different. Absolutely. Older homes, not insulated. And then you mentioned Eva Beach, mm -hmm. the hottest part of the island. Mm -hmm. I, I live in the back of Banoa. Mm. So you Cooler part. Tr treat us uh, very differently. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well benefit to having done this for a number of years now is that we kind of get to know the neighborhoods mm -hmm. and so we can tell you maybe what some of your neighbors have done and for example there's a neighborhood in Eva Beach that when they built it they included a lot of ventilation in this neighborhood mm -hmm. 
And they did such a great job with the ventilation that the systems there don't need any additional ventilation. Mm. And it makes it so easy. And a lot of our customers, Eva Beach is one of those areas that you can make a drastic difference. Yes. That neighborhood yes. is Sun Terra, by the yes. way. Yes, <laughs> yes. And on that cheery note, we will take a break. Howard Wig, Old Green, Sync Tech Hawaii, back in a moment. Aloha, I'm Wendy Lowe, and I'm coming to you every other Tuesday at 2 o'clock, live from Think Tech Hawaii. And on our show, we talk about taking your health back. And what does that mean? It means mind, body, and soul. Anything you can do that makes your body healthier and happier is what we're going to be talking about. Whether it's spiritual health, mental health, fascia health, beautiful smile health, whatever it means, let's take healthy back. Aloha. <laughs> I'm Jay Fidel of ThinkTech. Our flagship energy show among the six energy shows we have is Hawaii, the state of clean energy. It plays every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Come around and see us. Learn about energy. Keep current on energy on thinktechhawaii.com. Good afternoon again, Howard Wig, Code Green, St. Tech Hawaii, Al Whitworth, partner in Island Cooling. How could I forget Island Cooling? And let, let's bring up the, uh, the next slide here. Ah, uh, wow. yeah, now, now we get into to the <laughs> physics of the thing, and I think yes. you're going to talk about latent heat. Yes, yeah. so, of course... Because we're surrounded by such a great ocean that keeps our air temperature relatively cool, we get almost 100% of our heat from the sun. And that's, there's some infrared photos there showing you know, what may be a typical home. That sun hits the roof, fills that attic up with very, very hot air in the walls, as the case may be. And then it just radiates into the house. And it's like having a heater on your head. Um, this is what the quiet cool fan by drawing fresh air in it helps to remove all that stored heat that mass that's been warmed kind of like if you go out to your car and it's been parked in the sun and you touch your car it's really hot to the touch you start driving and you'll notice it's cooled down because all that air has pulled the heat mm -hmm. out mm -hmm. of the mass we all remember heat rises but sometimes folks forget that heat expands as well so many times folks will say why is the cool air not coming into my home it's 10 degrees cooler outside here mm -hmm. i take two steps in and it's hot that's because all that heat is acting like a small high pressure zone literally forcing its way out of the house because there aren't enough vents to go up good point good and point. by yeah. reversing that helping that air go up and out where it wants mm -hmm. to go naturally we can very efficiently cool down that the mass of the home as well as the inside space. So it, in that slide we just saw, if you did a, a video, mm -hmm. you, uh, before you get all that nice deep red, the redder it is, the yes. hotter it is, turn on a whole house fan and you could watch red fade, 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 and go down into... Uh, yellow, green, yellow. and blue, yeah. exactly. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And again, the temperature... Well, give us a hypothetical, a best case hypothetical. Sure. You walk into a really hot home. So in, typically, Eva Beach, yeah. Eva Beach, we yeah. see an attic temperature of about 125 degrees. Mm -hmm. And that can be you know, 45 degrees warmer than the outside ambient air. Mm -hmm. The worst offender is if you've got an air conditioner in that attic as well. It's trying to work extra hard to keep the yep. home cool, mm -hmm. but it's working in a super hot environment. So mm -hmm. by bringing in air that's, say, 80 degrees, I mean, even a hot day in have a beach 90 degrees it's still not it's still relatively you can sometimes what folks will tell us is that they think they've got to cool their air down to 70 or 65 to make themselves mm -hmm. cool but folks find that if they can get the air temperature down from 90 back to 85 it just creates a lot of relief in the home mm -hmm. and so that's the goal there bring it down cool that home cool the inside of the home push that hot hot air out and so you're cooling down the attic by 40 something degrees, you're cooling the inside of the home by 25 degrees or more, and overall saving energy as you do it. And don't forget the air movement. Mm. Yes, yeah. yes. And then another uh, physics law is called latent heat, where mm. the heat 
like can strike something and then embed itself, say pieces of furniture by yes. a, a plate glass window. That yes. couch right there is going to mm -hmm. be hotter than blazes. Yes. And so the, this air movement is going to pull yes. that heat out of the, the couch exactly. or whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I know one of your passions is cool walls. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have found that, of course, we get a lot of heat in the wintertime on our walls because the sun is lower on the mm -hmm. horizon. So mm -hmm. it may be below the, the protection of our roof for yeah. longer, yeah. ironically, mm -hmm. than, um, than it would be in the summertime when the sun is directly overhead. So by having the windows open, keeping the airflow going through the home, it can lead to a cooler wall than, uh, yeah. than yeah. having yeah. it closed yeah. up with the windows closed. Mm -hmm. And let's look at the next slide, please. Yeah, so this is exactly yeah. what we were talking about with the latent heat. By ventilating the home 15 to 20 times or, or more per air exchanges per hour using free cooler air, uh, we can just draw that heat out of the mass of the home. Now, it is important to have enough air exchanges in the home that you can actually lower the air temperature. That's, for example, why the, a bathroom fan doesn't cool down a bathroom. It just ventilates it because it's not moving the, enough volume of air to actually lower the air temperature. I, I guess the function of a bathroom fan is get the moisture out. So moisture and smells, shower. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and whereas yeah, these are designed yeah. for cooling, so they move mm -hmm. a much higher mm -hmm. volume of air. And that's important. You want, have to have enough airflow through the home. Uh, our quiet cool systems have multiple speeds, and we do have folks tell us, you know, it's always better to have more airflow going through a home than less airflow. Mm -hmm. But of course, with the speed, you're going to be using more and more electricity. Correct. I think you said that yeah. the lowest speed might be 120 uh, volts, yes. and then 240 and... Yes, and 400. Yeah. So there is a trade-off, yeah. and that's part of our job is we'll work with the homeowner to explain to them the different options in terms of energy efficiency and also lifestyle. Mm -hmm. For example, if it's a small home and just mom and dad are at home nowadays, maybe one in the hallway, a large, what we call a central system, might do the trick. If there's a lot of folks, a growing family, uh, having a unit in each room configured that way so each person could have an option to control their own space. Oh, they, they've is got a, their own exactly. switch. Exactly. It's in a great option room. for homes because one of the things, because the system creates airflow from the window to the intake, which is usually placed by the door, you can actually close the door in your bedroom and continue to get airflow through mm -hmm. in a way that's super efficient and you don't have to have the door open all the time so people have privacy. And, and yeah, you that. have your own environment plus, mm -hmm. uh, plus privacy. And, and for a bedroom, you're looking at about 60 to 70 watts of energy per hour. So a light bulb, an old Mm -hmm. An old light bulb. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Worth of energy. Hmm. Wow. Uh, so let's look at the uh, next slide here. Yeah, so uh, folks will use the quiet cool systems, the whole house fans, in the evening especially to cool the mass of the home. If you get back after dark, that's the perfect time to run the quiet cool system because that sun is no longer there, the air temperature is cooling. Uh, bringing that fresh air in helps, uh, helps homes, even with air conditioning, to not have to cycle that AC on and off all night. Um, with that airflow, that heat removed from the home, the AC can go on later, or it can, doesn't have to go on at all. And do you have <clears throat> uh, some fans where you can choose your, your speed? Correct, yes. So why not... Set when you leave the home in the morning, why not set at the lowest setting? Absolutely. And just have that yeah. air circulating yeah. all day long. In the same way that we crack our windows to keep the airflow from getting real hot inside mm -hmm. our homes, mm -hmm. uh, the quiet cool system, especially for folks who have pets mm -hmm. or children at home, it's a great idea to leave something on the low setting during the day to keep that airflow going through. Yeah. Yeah. Some of our biggest savings are from folks who are running air conditioning to keep their pets cool during the day while mm -hmm. they're at work, they'll switch to a whole house fan system. And not mm -hmm. only do you have cool pets, uh, <laughs> but also it takes out a lot of that dog odor or pet odor too that, mm -hmm. uh, that tends to accumulate when you've got yeah, all your windows yeah, closed. Yeah, 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 especially if a dog hasn't had a bath in a yes, while. Yes, <laughs> there's actually a couple of uh, uh, boarding kennels and animal hospitals that have chosen this system not because of the energy savings, but well, that's part of it, but also because it helps the 
whole facility to stay a lot fresher as well. Mm -hmm. You can imagine what it's like having a lot of pets and keeping all the windows yeah, closed. I hadn't think <laughs> of that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Mm. And uh, because Quiet Cool works, these our whole house fans work with, a, with open windows. Um, homes in older, ho older homes, mm -hmm. homeowners with older homes, historic homes, found that it's oftentimes a better match than trying to you know, change all the windows and bring everything up to mm -hmm. where it can be refrigerated. There's a little bit of a cost factor there, yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, it's just a lot. Because the original homes, a lot of them were designed in the era before air conditioning, so you can mm -hmm. use that sort of older style of natural ventilation. It just fits really well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I live in an older home myself, <laughs> and there's all kinds of window space, and there's big overhangs. Yes. To keep the, uh, the oh, walls shaded. Great. Yeah. And a lot of glass there. Okay, I think we've got one more slide, maybe. Oh, yes. So oh, the uh, yeah. great energy folks at rebate. Hawaii Yay. Energy. We've been partners now. We've been clean energy allies with them now for a number of years. And they included this $75 energy rebate in there per system. And um, it's a great way to help raise awareness of mm -hmm. the energy saving aspects. Of the now, now how, how does the, that rebate work? They, you install the system. So the system you, is installed, and then they, we actually give them the rebate application. Mm -hmm. Mostly filled in. They fill in their account information and mail it or complete it online. Mm -hmm. And about four to six weeks later, they get a check back for the, uh, the rebate. It and it doesn't back. take a whole heck of a lot of nope. paperwork. And yeah. it's great because even if you don't have any tax liability, it, it, for, so for seniors and yeah, folks like that, yeah, they yeah, can yeah. get that back. Something to, it's nice to get some money back from yeah. your utility. <laughs> And we have one last slide before we say adieu. Yeah, so yeah. this is actually a study that I think you released, but uh, you know, yep. folks in naturally vented, ventilated buildings can be comfortable at higher indoor temperatures. Again, referring to that thermal boredom that we were talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. If you are in AC all day in the office, a lot of folks say the last thing they want to do is go back home to an air conditioned space. Mm -hmm. They want to relax with natural air. And that's what the Quiet Cool Whole House fan system allows them to do. And there's something called IAQ, indoor air quality. Absolutely. And conditioned buildings, conditioned homes tend to accumulate mm -hmm. very poor air quality. Not, not all the time, some, mm -hmm. some of the time. Whereas here, you're just bringing in some of the purest air on the entire planet. Yeah, Give, uh, absolutely. Thanks for that. Yeah. So we're just about to uh, wrap up. Any parting words of wisdom, Mel? Well, no, thank you for having me on again. Mm -hmm. I think it's been a couple of years since I was last mm -hmm. here, and I really appreciate it, uh, helping to raise awareness of energy efficiency here in our state. Mm -hmm. And what we're trending toward is zero net energy home, yes. where you reduce the amount of energy you're using and then have PV, photovoltaics, on the roof, and you're producing up there as much as you're consuming down there. Yes, yes. And whole house fans would really make a big contribution towards your achieving uh, zero net energy. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you very much. That uh, wraps up another Code Green Think Tech Hawaii. Thank you so much, Al. This thank is you, uh, very enlightening. And back, see you back uh, next time.